Hey guys, it's Brian from Arrowhead Garage, and today we're testing out a new product on Amazon to see if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down so you don't waste your money buying this thing. So I'm in my 2008 Nissan Titan, and the Blendor, which if you know anything about anything with heater stuff, there's a blend door that, you know, hot air, cold air into the cab. Ours is kind of stuck in the middle. And so, like, this morning here in Phoenix, Arizona, it's like 58 degrees. I know, I know. Super cold. But still, it, it's it's lukewarm. I'm going to show you what the temperatures are. I'm going to show you the little gadget that I picked up on Amazon and see if this little heater for the price will get the job done. So with that, let's do some temperature. All right, so I have the heater at 90 I'm going to crank this baby up. Now, granted, I just started the truck. So let's see what we're doing here for temp-wise. 60 degrees is coming out of there right now. Not so hot. Ooh, 59. Let's take a look at some temperatures on the dashboard. 59 degrees there. 59 degrees there. How about up here? And 62. Well, no, hot air rises. So here's our little gadget. And, of course, there's a little thingy that clips into here where you can kind of rotate it. But let's just plug this in. Cigarette lighter. And it goes. Okay, there's a switch right there. One and two. Two is high. So we're just going to point this at us. And uh, get the temp gun. And um, 61 degrees coming out of there. Which is about the same as... Oh, we're up to 63, 61, 62. Okay. So I'm going to take a little trip down to CarQuest. I need to get spark plugged for the 67 fiber we're working on and allow the truck to come up to warm temperature. And we'll take some more readings when we get back to find out if this little product is worth it. So uh, hold tight. Let's do some driving. All right. We just pulled up to our local auto parts store here at CarQuest. And Queen Creek took us about 12 minutes to get here. Let's see how we're doing now. So temperature coming out of the vent, 105, which isn't bad. I'm not totally comfortably warm but at the same time i'm not freezing so let's go ahead and shut this down for a minute and here's our little portable heater so you can hear this and right off the bat it feels cool not cold but cool so let's see what happens here 87 the best you got was 87 degrees after a 10 minute 12 minute ride so uh okay i have to say uh yeah it doesn't do much for me but this might work if you don't have a defroster maybe put it up in the top of the window maybe that would put some air on that window and get it to frost but as far as warmth helping out if your uh, heater cores out or something or your heater just isn't up to par like ours is yeah this would be a complete fail and um yeah save your money don't buy this junk hi right, guys until i do another amazon review Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. If you liked the video, hit a like. Drop me a comment if you have any ideas or if you uh, have the same problem with your cheap-ass Amazon crap. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.